Paul, I would imagine, apart from 60 seconds or so, you were pretty pleased with that? Yeah, really pleased with that. I, you know, there's always things that um, I like to improve on, so to speak. A little bit of courage, but I thought um, overall as a workout, it was great. Got through pre-season with the majority of the players fit and ready and knowing what we want. Um, against, obviously, a, a top champ team now in the Premier League. So we knew it was going to be difficult. And you could see sometimes when, like, a Sanderberg runs with it, it's like a freak, isn't he? Like, lads are all running, like, arms and legs and can't catch up with him. So in that respect, but I thought the lads stuck to it really well. And um, second half, we were bright. And I just said to him after the game, like, I was really pleased with them, and I was. Um, but I just like them when they play a bit more on the edge. So... You know, if we switch the ball, can we switch it in less than two or one pass as opposed to three slower ones? I just think we need to um, play a bit more risk-free, really. That's how I like it. And in fairness, I just said to him in there that, you know, I know last week it was Fozzie's big day out. Today it was Waggy's, obviously. It felt like it was his uh, day out. But um, I thought that, like, you know, like Kane comes on and he's running past people, taking risks. The goal that Corey got was an unbelievable goal and... I thought Corey was one of the standout players today. Great ball in from that. And there's obviously errors in our game. I'm not saying, we're, but you're never going to be error free. But against the opposition as it was, I was really pleased with how the lads, you know, went about their business. I know it's pre-season. There, there yeah. was real joy from Corey Smith when he scored. Yeah, well, in fairness, I've, you know, I've had a few conversations with Corey. And, you know, he'd done a great job for me last year at right back, obviously. But um, I just think he's got goals in him. And we keep saying about he's making his sons proud because he, he's, if, he's, if he doesn't score or set up a goal, his sons think he's had a stinker. So I just want him to go home and feel good about himself. So it's a good run, you know, like them runs. If it doesn't get crossed to him, he then has to run all the way back to our own box. And so it takes a real effort and desire. And like I said, I thought Corey was uh, very good today. Minutes for Colin Washington, I think, showed why you brought him here in, in the it's time funny, that you had. When I put him on, I was going to take him straight off again because he went dump, 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 ran to the bottom corner. And unfortunately for him, he was chasing another top species uh, and like you know, Connor's only trained a week so we know he's a long way off that's not even like the lads when they played against uh, Matlock had more training in him than he has so he's a little bit off but I thought he was good I thought you know Waggy was bright Kane was Foz came on at left wing back uh, he's buzzing because he's he's devastated he thinks I might play him there but I thought he was really good and you know a natural swing on the ball there were certain things you know our set pieces were poor uh, Nels had the best chance but our actual game craft weren't bad it was just the fact that if you play with a three yeah, the two wide ones three centre halves the two wide ones have to be brave so I didn't think they were first half in the first half an hour um, and theirs were and then once we got into it a bit more and Nels was a lot braver Cash was a lot braver you're making their forwards make runs back they don't want to do and we had a bit more of the play in the same second half like was screaming at our wide centre halves to bomb on and be brave, and, and they were good. So, all in all, you know, scoreline aside, it's been a really good workout at the end of a really good pre season. And, you know, we've still um, got a couple of three to bring in, and then um, we should be in a place to, you know, have a right go. Yeah, it really starts to matter next weekend. Are you, are you satisfied with the work that's gone in so far? Yeah. You're, ne you're never satisfied, yeah, I don't know. No, I was going to say, yeah, to be nice, but no, not really. Yeah, I am, I am, I am. That's not true. I just think we just need, uh, you know, a little bit more in the team. Um, and, yeah, it just it was evident today if, a, you know, a birdie or a Connor came off, you might be a little bit light in the middle of the pitch, which always seems, uh, you always manage the team in, like, best case and worst case scenario. So, like today when I drive home, I'll be thinking about, Maybe we do need another midfielder. That's a, a problem. But generally speaking, sorry, uh, pre-season's gone really well. The lads are revved up to go. And uh, I'll enjoy the next six days of uh, normality before the pain starts. So uh, can't wait to start the season.